Not worth credit. <laughs> hey, folks, we're just talking about bad TV. But it's all good. How are you all tonight? Everybody well? That is, that's not rhetorical. I'm just asking how everybody's doing. <laughs> well, Timmy and I are good. Okay, good. Uh, for a minute there, I can't see any. There, I can't see everybody again. I couldn't see everybody. So suddenly I thought uh, I was. Shaking. We're good. All right. All so good. We've got the spray and pause on, so we're ready to go. Okay, I feel better now. For a little while, the universe was a very empty place. I'm end the day, folks. We're glad you're here. Welcome home to St. Peter's. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give us the thumbs up. And of course, if you're watching on Facebook, give us a follow. We appreciate your presence. We're glad to pray the hours with you and you. We're happy to welcome you home to St. Peter's. We're ready to go to close the day. All right, it's time for evening prayer. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, be not far from us. Come quickly to help us, O God. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for the invitatory. Light of the world in grace and beauty, mirror of God's eternal face, transparent flame of love's free duty, you bring salvation to our race. Now as we see the lights of evening, we raise our voice in hymns of praise. Worthy are you of endless blessing, sun of our night, lamp of our days. Portion of Psalm 105, please join me and respond by full verse. Then Israel came out of Egypt, came to Egypt, Jacob lived as an alien in the land of Ham. And the Lord made his people very fruitful and made them stronger than their foes. Whose hearts he then turned to hate his people to deal craftily with his servants. He sent his servant Moses and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They performed her signs among them and miracles in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made the land dark. They rebelled against his words. He turned their waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land swarmed with frogs, even in the chambers of their kings. God spoke and there came swarms of flies and gnats throughout their country. He gave them hail for rain and lightning that flashed through their land. God struck their vines and fig trees and shattered the trees of their country. He spoke, and locusts came, and young lo locusts without number. They devoured all the vegetation in their land, and ate up the fruit of their ground. He struck down all the firstborn in their land, the first issue of all their strength. Then God brought Israel out with silver and gold, and there was no one among their tribes who stumbled. Egypt was glad when they departed. For dread of them had fallen upon it. God spread a cloud for a covering and fire to give light by night. It asked, and he brought quails and gave them food from heaven in abundance. God opened the rock and water gushed out. It flowed through the desert like a river. For he remembered his holy promise and Abraham his servant. So the Lord brought God's people out with joy. Her chosen ones was singing. He gave them the lands of the nations, and they took possession of the wealth of the peoples. That they might keep the Lord's statutes and observe her laws. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. Am I not free? 
am I not an apostle? Have I not seen Jesus our Lord and are not my works in the Lord? Are you not my work in the Lord? If I am not an apostle to others, at least I am to you, for you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. This is my defense to those who would examine me. Do we not have the right to our food and drink? Do we not have the right to be accompanied by a believing wife, as do the other apostles and the brothers of the Lord and Cephas? Or is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from working for a living? Who at any time pays the expenses for doing military service? Who plants a vineyard and does not eat any of its fruit? Or who tends a flock and does not get any of its milk? Do I say this on human authority? Does not the law also say the same? For it is written in the law of Moses, you shall not muzzle an ox while it is treading out the grain. Is it for oxen that God is concerned? Or does she not speak entirely for our sake? It was indeed written for our sake. For whoever plows should plow in hope, and whoever threshes should thresh in hope of a share in the crop. If we have sown spiritual good among you, is it too much if we reap your material benefits? If others share this rightful claim on you, do not we still more? Nevertheless, we have not made use of this right, but we endure anything rather than put an obstacle in the way of the gospel of Christ. Do you not know that those who are employed in the temple service get their food from the temple, and those who serve at the altar share in what is sacrificed on the altar? In the same way, the Lord commanded that those who proclaim the gospel should, buy, should get their living by the gospel. But I've made no use of any of these rights, nor am I writing this so that they may be applied in my case. Indeed, I would rather die than that. No one will deprive me of my ground for boasting. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle is Song of Judith together. I will sing a new song to my God. For you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke, and all things came into being. You sent your breath, and it formed them. No one is able to resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you. But whoever fears the Lord shall stand in your sight forever. A reading from Luke. One Sabbath, while Jesus was going through the grain fields, his disciples plucked some heads of grain, rubbed them in their hands, and ate them. But some of the Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? Jesus answered, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and took and ate the bread of the presence which it is not lawful for any but the priests to eat, and gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, The Son of the Man is Lord of the Sabbath. On another Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught, and there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him to see whether he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might find an accusation against him. Even though he knew what they were thinking, he said to the man who had the withered hand, Come and stand here. He got up and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath, to save life or to destroy it? After looking around at all of them, he said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they were filled with fury and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle is Song of Christ's Humanity. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, 
that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear our cry, O God, and listen to our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Peter, our patron, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. And I ask your blessings and forgiveness because I put next Wednesday's evening prayer up. So you're going to hear one collect a little early and you'll hear a psalm that we didn't uh, complete today, next week. It's an interesting life we live. Oh God, you declare all, your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace that we running to obtain your promises may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you. All tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. Please join me in the night prayer. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark, that our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. In the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen.
Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Welcome back, everyone. We are, I will apologize to you and we will see you next week for this week. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we have morning prayer at 9 a.m. The shop is open from 10 to 2. Alice's Cup is feeding folks from 9.30 to 11.30 and 1.30 to 3.30. And of course, then we will have evening prayer. Just a nice, quiet day around St. Peter's. Glad you're here. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Give us the thumbs up. And if you're on Facebook, give us a follow. We are so deeply appreciative of your presence. We're honored to have you alongside us. We're really blessed to be able to pray the hours with you. And we ask you to continue to enjoy this welcome home to St. Peter's. For now, dear friends, in this even tide, as we're getting much needed rain in New Jersey, take care and God bless. And prayers for Bye. everyone in the path of the hurricane. We really do pray for your safety and well-being. Take care. Amen. Now.